Coach, now that you've seen Wayland's pitching performance in game one, what are some adjustments you're making on the field to help pivot Sagu's batting performance in game two? Well, this is what we preach here. I preach make every play, make the easy pop-ups, and every, and every game you'll be in it. So that game, we didn't do that. We made little mistakes, and little mistakes cost you. So we have to make good decisions. We got to swing at good pitches. We got to make the easy routine plays and we'll be in every game the rest of this year. Now that the conference tournament is almost coming up, what is the format and how is Sagu making it into the playoffs this year? Well, the top eight teams will make it. Right now we're eight, nine right now. We're tied actually for the last spot. So we need a little luck, but if we win out, we're in. Last of all, what are some changes you're making on the field to pivot things and come out on top with a win for game two? Again, we have to be disciplined. We um, hit the ball. Okay, so we're focusing on line drives. And in, in the win, we don't like pop-ups. We like ground balls, line drives. That, that makes some stuff happen. So we're focusing on that, having our pitchers focus on that outside corner is where the umpires are giving it to us today. Thank you so much, Coach. Good luck in game two.